He is the gin foil chef, a man with a video love. How's it going? Well, it's been kind of a busy day, but it always is at the beginning of the month. Running around, chasing after this and that, and so on. And, what's more, I'm not even finished with it. i got to do more of it tomorrow. But, still in keeping with uh, what I've said about getting my uh, weight loss kick-started again, and getting rid of this weight loss plateau, and getting moving toward my goal again, I have begun, well, basically uh, getting rid of some of the crap. And that's going to start with my diet, what I'm eating, and how much, and so on, because basically over the last several months I've been just kind of out of control. Well, not totally out of control, but kind of just cruising without paying attention that much of what I'm eating. And I need to change that. I need to cut the carbs down. I need to get rid of the, all the pasta I've been eating and stuff like that. So I'm going to move towards something of a more low-carb kind of diet and take some of the sugars and carbs out of the equation so that maybe i got a better chance of getting rid of the plateau, get the weight loss kick started again and so on, and that combination with the exercise bike should do a little, at least something. And while I'm clearing the crap out of things, I'm going to be clearing the crap out of a bunch of other stuff too. Uh, like for example on the computer. You take a look at my web browser and you look at the bookmarks. I have got literally hundreds and hundreds of bookmarks that uh, some of these things go back 10 years and I haven't looked at these sites in years you know so it's time to start going through the bookmarks and uh, clearing some of them out and what I'm going to do is just uh, every day just pick one section of the bookmarks folders and start deleting sites that I haven't visited in forever and don't need anymore and stuff like that and uh, in the computer itself, hard drive space is getting to be a premium more and more often. And so I'm going to be doing things like go into the Add Remove Programs applet and uninstall stuff that I haven't used in six months. You know, if I haven't used it in six months, it's probably a good bet I don't need it. And so uninstall that crap clear out hard drive space and make more room available. And then there's uh, my archives directory where I've got installer programs for everything I've downloaded for the last couple of three years and all sorts of other stuff that I need to look at it and just delete stuff I don't need. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be doing it all at once. I'm not even going to think about trying to do that. But every day. A few of these things, a few of each of these things, get rid of them every day. And then there's assorted junk in the house. I'm talking about like for example there are videos and books and other things in this house that I have not looked at in no less than four years. And if I haven't looked at it in four years there's a good bet that I probably don't need it. So it's time to start moving that stuff out. I've got stuff uh, that I stuck off in another room and just forgot about after my wife died. And uh, It's sitting there taking up space. I'm not using it. I haven't even looked at it since she died. You know, it's time to just go through that stuff and start deciding what's worth keeping and what really just plain needs to go. So... It's a big job because I am something of a pack rat, you know, I tend to collect stuff. And I've got too much junk, so it's time to start getting rid of it. Trash people are going to be busy. Because I've got this great big 150 gallon trash bin, and I'm going to fill that sucker every week. <laughs> At least I'm sure enough going to try. At least one 
good full-size bag of trash into it every day. Oh well, I've rattled on enough here. Oh wait a minute, I do have a quote. A quote for today. I love your eyebrows. If Brooke Shields married Groucho Marx, their child would have your eyebrows. Take it easy. I'm out of here. He is the gentle chef and the frog just doesn't give a shit. Hello, it's Tuesday, January the 3rd. You know, cleaning up the crap, as the boob so colorfully puts it, is going to be a larger job than he realizes. He's got more junk stored in more places than anyone I've ever known. Describing himself as, quote, something of a pack rat, unquote, may well qualify as the understatement of the century. The previous question of the day, what if the Defiant ended up in Babylon 5 space after it disappeared from Federation space? <laughs> Today's question of the day, what's the biggest source of crap that you need to get rid of? There are two new subscribers, the Gingerzilla and Rock409. Welcome and thank you very much for subscribing. The dirty word of the day, file. Here's the